Hi world, it's my first TikTok and I have a really pressing question. I have been divorced for a couple of years after 33 years of marriage and here's what I gotta know. Does it get easier? Because it's starting to feel like the whole purpose of dating is to go out with strange men to endure really awful things in order to come home and create t crazy TikTok stories. I mean, somebody tell me there's more to this than that. So this woman was married for a total of 33 years. 33 years, man. That's over three decades. She's been married longer than I've been doing pickup. Right? Which is about three decades now. And she decided to throw in the towel divorce her husband, and jump back into the dating market, which is a total poop show when you are in your 50s. Okay, it's a total poop show, ladies. You don't want to jump in there at 50. Okay, it's like an NFL, I love this analogy, right? It's like an NFL running back in his 50s trying to go back to the NFL, assuming they would let him do that. They wouldn't, right? Assu <laughs> assuming they'd let him do that. Um, and play and compete against the 20 year olds, you know, 22 year olds fresh out of college, you know, drafted fresh out of the combine and compete against those guys. No. Okay. It's impossible. And you're going to get hurt as she is getting hurt, but she's not getting physically hurt, but emotionally hurt. You're married for 33 years. Why on earth did you divorce that guy? Clearly you love each other. Okay. Clearly, they you know they had a family together. They shared times together, created lifelong memories together. Do you not value that? I, I mean, this is why it just shocks me when these ladies divorce their husbands after so many years. It's like, do you even value uh, not just what he brought to the table, but what you built together? It's cash and gizmo. <laughs> like snorting. Sometimes like new. Uh, Guys must be new to my channel. They're like, who's that in the back? Who is snoring? Um, guys, just tell them. All right. So I don't have to keep like going in the comments like, it's my dog. But either way, they were married for 33 years, man. That is a long time. You don't just throw away your marriage, you know, and uh, thinking that you could go out there and replace your husband. Because likely when you met your husband, you were probably in your early 20s. Okay, and uh, sorry to say, you were not in your early 20s anymore, even though these chicks like to believe that they are. Oh, 21 forever. You're not. And the second you get out there, once it's too late, you've divorced your husband, and you get out there into the dating market, it's like a pie in the face. Like, whoa, you don't want to be out there, right? I'm a professional pickup artist. I'm out there all the time, and I see these ladies in venues. I know they're fresh out of divorce. You could just tell. They're like, you know, they're like a deer in the headlights in these venues against these younger, hotter women who are half their age, probably their granddaughter's age, out there trying to compete for men. Can't do it, right? And there are guys in these venues that are my age. I mean, it's not shocking, right? The guys that are in these venues, I'm going to turn my aircon on because it's pretty hot out here. It's like almost 100 in LA, but uh, the guys in these venues are generally, you know, anywhere from their 20s, their 30s, 40s, and 50s. And they're all competing for the women who are in their late teens and early 20s. Now, imagine you going out there and trying to compete with them. It's It really will depress you very fast. If you think online dating's bad, get out and go to some of these venues and see how harsh it is. Different story if you're a guy, right? It's totally different if you're a guy. This is why I can't stand it when I see guys sell them shelves short. Because as a guy, you raise, you know, as you get older, you know, your social status raises, right? Your financial status raises, increases, I should say. Everything about you increases. Your maturity, your life experience, you know, all the things that women of all ages want in a man. However, now that you have your pick of the litter, are you going to choose some 53, 54, 55 year old 
divorced woman who left her husband after 33 years? Are you gonna, you know, who's, you know, much older, probably got a lot of gray hair. You know, I've got like one or two here. Um, I mean, are you gonna choose her, you know, a lot of emotional, mental baggage, or are you gonna choose the 22 year old, um, you know, college hottie that wants to be submissive and wants to follow your lead? You know, of course you're gonna choose her. Why would you want somebody who's your own age who's just gonna, you know, back talk you every time or question your lead or, you know, take the lead from you and just never ever be feminine? sad right 20 33 years she just stayed with this guy why she left her uh, husband after 33 years and why any of these women do that um, you get what you deserve right you get what you deserve you're not supposed to divorce your husband after that many years if at all especially if you're uh, Christian or Catholic like I am um, you get married once you make that vow you got to stay married especially after 30 or 33 years give me a break man you can't work things out you can't just renew your love together. Bless you, kids. Sneeze. You know, and uh, now this chick is out on the dating apps. And uh, as I always say about these women, especially the ones over 50, get ready for a lifetime of first dates and uh, no second dates. I mean, if that, right? Very rarely will you go on a second. Definitely rare that you'll go on a third. You'll just have plenty of these first dates with strange men, as she said, Say hi to kids with strange men who you're just not going to have interest in because you know in the back of your head you really are still kind of thinking of your husband and you know and uh, either trying to replace him or trying to show him up like oh you know oh I could I he didn't value me didn't appreciate me I'm gonna get somebody else no no anyway let's break into the second video I have to share with you roll the clip. So I'm just here to say that dating after 40, especially when you're close to 50, is like trying to find the least damaged thing at a thrift store that doesn't smell. True story, y'all. You know, I wish a lot more of these uh, women who are thinking about leaving their husbands in their 50s would watch videos like this of other women complaining about how hard it is to date in their 50s and how it is just like an endless swamp you know I mean you're just constantly just out there and it seems hopeless the reason it seems hopeless is because it pretty much is right it pretty much is it's very 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 difficult to find you know a quality guy that you will accept uh, in your 50s because as we know guys these women their standards um, all they, all that happens is their standards it, it doesn't go down as they get older it just goes up and they have more and more of these requirements for men that they need to fulfill before you could date me and it's like guys I just you have to be realistic ladies you have to be realistic you're a woman in your 50s wanting a guy in his 50s who can easily get women in their 20s. Why would he choose you? What do you bring to the table? Right? And I mean, instead of even trying to compete and trying to bring something miraculous to the table that th where the guy will at least take a second look at you and not just ignore you for the 20 year olds, at least where he'll take a second look at you, you know, like give him some like massage his neck or something. Tell him how great he is. Tell him how, you know, awesome or good looking he is. Instead of doing that, what do you do? All about me. What are you going to give me? What's your job? Where do you work? What neighborhood do you live in? What kind of car do you drive? That's why these guys are like, uh, it's like, yeah, I'm doing great. Yeah, I've got the car. Yeah, I've got the lifestyle, but I'm not, I'm not giving that to you, right? Especially with your attitude and, uh, you know, lack of gratitude. Why should I give that to you? But this is this is what happens when you're still, you know, when you're already over 50 and you're still out there dating. These women are literally telling you the truth of what it's like. I mean, does that does it sound fun to you? Does it sound like someplace you want to be? No. And this is why I always warn the ladies, especially ones in their 20s, don't chase your career. 
Don't, you know, waste your 20s riding the carousel. Oh, I got plenty of time. No, you don't. You should be spending your 20s trying to find and lock down the high value man while you're while you're at the peak of your sexual marketplace value. Right? If I was a professional athlete in my 20s, all I would be doing is trying to look for the biggest contract I could find that I could possibly get. Find a team that I could stay with that wants me there for the long haul and stay with that team for my entire career. You know, of course you're going to have these damaged girls, girlfriends and females that you'll come across in life and you know, they'll try to sway you away from that and they'll be like, "Girl, come with us to the club." Girl, ooh, yeah, you, you know, you you should meet my you should meet my other guy friend and you know, trying to, "Oh, come with us to Cabo and trying to turn you into a 304 like they are." That's when you got to be like, "Nope. Sorry, we're not heading the same place. Uh, leave me alone. Uh, lose my number because my mission is to find myself a good man because I don't want to end up like these 50 year old women out there still, you know, on Tinder uh, trying to find, you know, even just a halfway decent man. And even that's impossible these days, especially with a lot of this red pill knowledge. It will get harder and harder for these ladies, won't it? All right, let's break into the third and final <laughs> video of tonight. Roll the clip. I don't have like even kind of a boyfriend. Not even kind. I don't have someone that I'm texting that's a guy that might someday be my boyfriend. There's like nothing going on right now. That's pathetic. Yeah. So ladies over 50, does this look fun to you? I mean, does this look like a lifestyle that, uh, you know, that you envisioned for yourself when you were younger? No, of course not. Right? And it doesn't mean it's completely hopeless. Uh, but if I were to tell these girls what they really are, these women, sorry, I shouldn't call them girls, these women, uh, what they really needed to hear, they wouldn't want to hear it, right? I mean, yeah, you have to lower your standards, ladies. I mean, that's the reality of it. And even then, even if you lower your standards, that's no guarantee. That at least just kind of give you, you know, an inkling of hope. If you're willing to lower your standards, um, you don't have to live out the rest of your life alone. You don't have to go the rest of your life solo. You know, and watching these vids of these chicks who are in their 50s and still single, uh, it reminds me of this <laughs> this uh, manipulated study that a lot of these woke women are out there peddling right now and trying to promote to other women that is claiming that uh, women statistically, childless women over 40, um, childless women over 40 that are still single are the happiest women out there. No, it's a lie. Yeah, I mean, just look at reality. It's a lie. And not only that, I dug in a little more, I dug a little more into that little study. Uh, it was a very small sample of women. It was completely manipulated. Uh, and I would have no doubt that uh, they, uh, you know, many of the women were probably friends of the editor. I would have no doubt. I mean, because that's what the left always does. They always manipulate uh, the data to fit their narrative. And I mean, reading, you know, and my BS detector went off when I when I peered into that study a little more. I, I was like, I knew that was a lie. I mean, I'm a professional pickup artist. I'm out there in these venues all the time. And I see these women, I mean, not even in their 40s or 50s yet. They're, they're just in their 30s having a, a heck of a time trying to compete against the 21-year-olds. They can't. Getting frustrated because they're not getting the attention that they used to get. Getting, um, wanting to tear their eyes out because they can't get the same level of guys they were once able to get, you know, 10, 10 years ago, five years ago. So uh, they could take that study and, uh, you know, wipe their ass with it because that's what it's worth. It's, it's not even worth the paper it's written on. Uh, so I just had to make that clear too because you guys might see that study around there where these uh, woke women are parroting oh you know statistically women over 40 that are still single and unmarried without kids they're the happiest okay if you're so happy why are you on social media you know doing these uh, videos like that uh, trying to get validation for it I, I mean because happy women they're not on social media I've met happy women right I've tried to game happy women they can't be gamed they have a man they're loyal to him and they, uh, they're not on social media, but the damaged women who are unhappy, miserable, uh, suicidal thoughts, you name it, they're on social media and they're telling you how happy they are. So until next time, this is M from the 33 Secrets signing out. 
go ahead and smash that like button below. Also guys, make sure you hit that notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on my YouTube channel. More importantly guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel, okay? Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton. It tells YouTube that you are loving my videos, you're digging it. You want me to come out here to Vegas even more and shoot more coaching videos for you that can help you, educate you, and take you to the next level in life. Take you into a whole new dimension that the mainstream parents, teacher society never ever taught you about, never even told you about because they themselves weren't aware of it, right? So please make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. And for you guys who want to support my work, and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content even further, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months of Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, the same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students are out there cold approaching and closing every single week. I kid you not, every single week, no matter what chaos is going on in the world, no matter what nonsense is going on out there, we are still making things happen. That is the absolute best way to support my work by jumping into seven months of mastery. And right now, the first month is only one buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons. It's only one dollar. And all you need to do to get signed up is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.